Hello traders, welcome to Silent FX YouTube channel. So today video we are going to be showing you three steps how to identify a trend. So we are going to be starting on our video. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to our channel, and then hit the notification bell to be notified at any time when we we will be releasing a new episode like this. So without wasting the time, let us dive into the step of today. Step number one is going to be how to identify the lower loads and the low heights. Step number two, we're going to be seeing on how to identify the swing lows and the swing highs of the market. And the step number three is going to be identifying continuation patterns. So these patterns, if you are to identify a train, there are some patterns which we follow to confirm, which give us confirmations to see that we are in either downtrend or, or a our uptrend. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, let let us dive in the charts. So, this is our chart of today, which we are going to be focusing in and to show that we are going to use this. And this chart is not a. Uh, it's live but we are not going to enter any trade so that is a fall just we are going to show you how you can highlight the the train the trends and then choose any pair which you feel like just you want to trade I, uh, just to follow the prompts which we are sharing with you so today we are not going to be focusing on a currencies what what the we are going to be focusing on indices so guys we have now so if you look at the charts if you look at the charts we are focusing on a trend so we're gonna be identifying main a train so identifying a train strictly mm -hmm. if you are to identify a train now this is a downtrend yeah so this is down identifying a downtrend mm -hmm. we confirm a downtrend through the market giving us lower highs and, and lower, lower highs lows. And, so, and the low low, yeah. Yeah. Whenever the market push to the upside, yeah. Whenever the market pushes to the upside, mm. so well, this turn turning of the market mm. going to drop, so this becomes our lower uh, high. That becomes a low high, yeah. Yeah. So now the recent support which the market made, mm. that means this is our lower low. Yeah. So when the market pushes again. Mm. To the downside, mm, this be becomes our new low. If it pushes back to the upside, it becomes a low a high. Low high. So, so what do you mean when when the market comes from the uh, low high one and it comes to low low two, by which means the next low high it is a uh, low high. Yeah. Okay. So the next lower high that is where the market we are expecting the market to turn. So whenever the market turns and goes back to the downside mm. that means this is our lower lower high so if you look at our charts coming to the downside we had a lower low lower high lower low lower high so the market came here and respected the lower lower high then it dropped so in the way where it dropped mm. we were on our support level whereby the market had a pullback so in the formation of making a pullback, it gives us our new, a lower, new, high. new lower high. So, so if you jump into, let me see our one yeah. to get a clear picture. Yeah. Let's go to the higher time frame to get a lower picture. So if you look at the charts, let me start. If you go backward mm. and you check, let me say from here, the market was just going in. And downtrend. Uh, downtrend. So, like trying to consolidate a little bit here because yeah. I see from that point so, uh, up to date, it's like a consolidation, but in the uptrend. So, after then it breaks and then it's to. Yeah, if you see the market, yeah. it gave us a continuation pattern, yeah. which we are going to look at also. Mm -hmm. So, in this formation of the continuation pattern, mm -hmm. it was giving us a, a, a confirmation that the trend is still going in the downtrend. The down, downtrend. So the market pushed to the downtrend. It came, it came, it came. If you see, even here, it gave us another confirmation of a continuation pattern, which is a flag. 
it again pushed down to the downside so if you jumping back to the lower time frame you can clearly see these patterns which i was telling about you yeah so it gave us this pattern which was a continuation pattern yeah it broke and retested yeah it gave us another continuation pattern so if you are to identify our market key levels mm. we have lower highs here mm. and lower lows okay it broke it gave us a lower high mm. lower high lower low so so the market continued dropping which means clear confirmations of a downtrend mm. it also gave us another what continuation pattern it also gave us another continuation pattern all these are confirmations to confirm us that we are in still in a downtrend in a downtrend so that is exactly what have been uh that is the exactly which uh most new traders they don't understand or they fail or they try to fidget how someone can look the yeah, how you can identify the downtrend or maybe the uptrend so if it is now here we are showing you the downtrend but when it turns to uptrend just make this uh, as a vice versa so that um, you can see the exactly what we are doing which we are showing you here now you can turn it to to the upper trend so it is the same tips you can use to identify the uptrend so or the downtrend so yeah, anytime we shall be uploading a video and showing you on how to determine an uptrend yeah. so guys i think for today we have been showing you first number one we are going to we were identifying our lower lows and, and lower low highs. highs so we had to come in the market and we are showing you how to identify your lower lows this is the lower low this is the lower no, no. high this is the lower low this is the lower highs so if you come to our second step it identifying the swing, swing lows, lows and the swing highs so it's just simple if you jump in the market mm. whenever you see the market turning mm. so uh, this area where the market turned this is our swing low mm. and this where the market turned this is our swing high so the low this is our swing low and the high this is our swing high so determining a trade in order to go long hold on hold on a little bit short. hold on a little bit yeah. now there's something where i want to clear it bro so try to uh to increase the size so yeah. someone they have not understood very well where they think the, the turning i want to explain the the clear turning the clear turning when you see this is the blue color and this is the red color so where you see the blue color started to uh, to form starting form that is a turn and when the red color ends and another color forms that is a turn so it's just simple whenever you see let me let me let me zoom in so that they can get a clear picture yeah so if you jump in here mm. so we see when you come on this market key level mm. we had so many reversals so the market came here the buyers went long mm -hmm. the market came pushed back to the downside mm -hmm. it came back here again the they jumped buyer, in yeah the buyers were main in the market the market had to push the upside again the market came back here and respected this level so we whenever you see many turning points of the market so and this becomes our swing low okay. uh -huh. same case to the upside yeah if you come to the upside mm -hmm you'll get to you'll see that we have some ceiling confirmations we had a week here mm. we had a week here yeah. we had a week here we had a week here yeah. which means this is our sort so, of like a resistance okay. level whereby we're expecting sellers to jump in the market so this becomes our swing, swing high. high so just like that so i think our step number three is identifying our continuation patterns so if you jump in back to our charts i was mm. trying to show you some of our continuation patterns which we have been trading for a long time yeah so, and that is the most traders they like uh, to trade a uh, continuation pattern mm. because it's uh, showing you a clear uh, direction market structure yeah. yeah the market is just yeah continuously continuously going in that trend yeah so 
If it is an up trend, look for buying opportunities mm. only. If it is a down trend, look, look for, for selling, selling opportunities. Opportunity. So, and uh, another thing, guys, if you are trading before you, uh, before you putting in you money to the forex, just keep this in your mind. Always follow to the trend. Trend, turn a trend to your friend, guys. If you trend. Against oh, the train, you you're going to lose money. <laughs> of course, guys. So we have tried each tips and tricks which we are going to be uh, giving you in this channel. Make sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Go yeah. on and subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming episodes, guys. So let so, us continue. So guys, mm -hmm. so our last step we are going to we are going to look at the continuation mm -hmm. patterns yeah. which we look. Which we look after when you're identifying a trend. So yeah. it's just simple. If you're looking for continuation patterns, we have continuation pa patterns like flags, triangles. So here is a bit example of a continuation pattern, which is a flag. Mm. So how can we determine a flag? That would be in another video. But in short time period, this is our flag. So we had this momentum which is our flag ball and we had a bit of like consolidation yeah you can see here on our screen uh the market pulls down like this and then it forms uh this little consolidation so when you put here your trend lines like this and they form you a flag so you can see the market came like this here and it was trying to consolidate again and then it continues like, the side. yeah so this was first number one confirmation that we are in a down trend if you get to see these continuation patterns so if you clearly let me zoom in our chats i'm also seeing some continuation another continuation pattern yeah so guys if you are following the trend continuation patterns are easy to see so there is another continuation pattern here which is also a flag so we had our flag for here we had a little consolidation, then it broke. Yeah. So they don't say. Let's continue identifying. We also have here another continuation pattern, mm. which is a peanut. There's also another continuation pattern. So yeah. we had we had our four mm. and a bit of consolidation, mm. and we broke to the downside. We also confirmed another flag so if you are to identify a continuation pattern you must look for continuation patterns yeah, in order to confirm a trend a trend or oh, it is a downtrend or oh, the uptrend. uptrend so so guys i think this is what all we wanted to share with you today in our video so don't forget to subscribe and like smash that like button so that you can be and and eh, eh, they know they know they know they know what to do guys so make sure to share this video to your friends and family guys see you to the next episode peace